Hello, hello. Can you guys hear me? We can? Awesome. Let me remove that. Okay. There should be nothing there. Perfect. Well, hi! Welcome to the multi-game revenge run. <clears throat> so, let me explain what this project is first, and then I'll start revealing the games. I'm hoping the reveal won't take that long, but, uh... I have done a lot of multi-game races in the past. I've basically retired from them now. But not every single game went so well when I was doing the races. So there were some games where I lost a lot of time compared to runs that I was getting in practice. And uh, yeah, I decided to get some of those games, put them all on a list together, and I'm going to get revenge. So... These will be games from Mega 16s, or Big 20s, or Tiny 10s, or Super 16s. This will be 10 games from those types of events. Not every single game will be the whole game. Some of them will be partial goals. But I kept every single goal the exact same as what it was in that particular race. So, before I start revealing what games are in the list, I'm going to tell you a couple games that are not in this list. The main type of game that you will not see in this list were games that were just pure RNG. So, for example, uh, The Goonies 2, I lost about four to five minutes in Big 20 number 10 in that game. The problem is that that was pure RNG. There was nothing I could do to control that. So it's it doesn't really make sense to try to get revenge and we're just praying for RNG. So we're I picked games that I essentially I should have known better or I should have practiced better or I should have played better. These are games that I I should have done better than what I did. If that makes sense. Now, there's 10 games in this list. One game I kept taking in and putting out of the list. Like, I just could not decide if I was going to do it, and I finally said, screw it, we're putting it in. Um, and then there's a game where I didn't lose that much time, but I still should have been better than what I was, and it just barely squeaked into this list. The other eight are going to be pretty obvious, I think. So, if it's cool with you guys, I'm going to go ahead and reveal each game one at a time. I have this little space background to cover up the game. Uh, because I want to see if you guys can guess what they are. If not, it's okay, but I want to see if you guys can guess what they are. Who's ready? It is okay with you? Awesome. All right. Well, I'm going to start booting up these games. Let's see how this goes. I did practice this reveal just to make sure everything worked. So, unless something happened that I think, <laughs> I think we're going to be okay. But anyways. Let's do this. Let's boot up game number one in this list. It's loading. Does anybody know what this game is? <laughs> it is! It's General Chaos! So... <laughs> this is the first game in the list. I'm gonna make this the first game. Um... The thing about this game, it isn't crazy difficult. But there was a mechanic in this game I did not understand until race day, when I lost 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, oh wait, that's, yeah, yeah, it's this, okay. So, yeah, basically, this game was in Mega 16 number 4, the only Mega 16 I ever did. 
And I basically, I basically played this game twice. Um... So, yeah, it's sort of XCOM-ish. You control a bunch of units and you have to take out the other team. You do have medics in case one of your guys uh, is downed. But the thing about your medics that I didn't know is that if your medics die, that's it. They don't come back. So if you lose your units, you lose. So, I, th I think also, um, this game's world record has been brought down quite a bit, uh, compared to when I last ran the game. Like, I think the record's under five minutes now or something. The record was, like, a low six at the time. I think people use, uh, pause strats, like, they'll attack and then they'll pause. That way, they can, uh, that way they can get, um like, more hits on the enemies while not taking that much damage. So, it'll be exciting to go back to this one and actually relearn it. Uh, I'll see if I can try to beat this first fight. If not, it's okay. But I'm gonna see if I can try to beat this first one, and then we'll move on to game number two. Uh-oh. I might die here. Oh, another fist fight. Yeah, even if you're good at the close combat, the other guy can just shoot you. But he didn't. This was your only option. Yeah, to be fair, the Mega 16 that I did, I did okay in a lot of the games. There were a few here and there that could have been better, but this was the main culprit. Looks like I'm gonna die here. But yes, I'm making this game number one. Uh, I'm gonna make this the first game. I'm actually just gonna wait for them to kill me. How long will it take for him to get me? Oh, he kicked me in the no-no square. All right, anyways, I think you get the picture. Let's move on. To game number two. Remember, there's only ten games in this. This next one might be a surprise. I think this was the second to last game I added. It is spooky, yeah. Uh... If no one gets it, it's okay. I'll show it in just a little bit. If you know it, let's hear it. I'll tell you if you're right or wrong. Yes, there's another name for it, but yes, I will count that. On the Genesis, it's called Dragon's Fury. But it is Devil's Crush. You are correct. I am going to give you credit on that one. Dragon's Fury made it. My PB for 10 million points is just under two minutes. During the actual race, I was on this game for five and a half. Because I kept dying. I kept getting sent to mini games that I didn't want to play. So I want a redo. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 like I said, I think this was going to be a surprise because even though this is a short game, yeah, I. I did blow this one on race day. Like, I blew it. I should have been faster at this, and I just wasn't. So hopefully, we don't spend five and a half minutes on this game, and we don't almost game over. I'm 
gonna shake the table, see if that helps. But yeah, it's like a spooky, uh, pinball game. Yeah. This is the only pinball game in this, I'll say that much. The only other pinball game I've done for a race is, uh, Black Box Pinball for the Big 20. That's not in the list, by the way. Pinball went fine, so. Yeah, I've got to figure out, I do have to figure out how to avoid this from happening. Uh, yeah, honestly, when I did my uh, retro uh, BizHawk Shuffler back at, around New Year's of 2022, I forgot how fun this game is. I have, I've tried to play Pinbot, I just don't get it. But anyways, yeah, so the goal will be to try to score 10 million points. Um, which normally is not this hard, but to be fair, it's been a while since I've actually tried this. Yo, Armstrong, thanks for the good luck, have fun. I will, I hope to have good luck as I reveal what, uh, games are in this list. Alright. I think I, I'll, I'll try to get up there one more time and then I'm gonna move on. There's not, Oh dang. Yeah, you don't want that to happen. <laughs> I will say that, you don't want that to happen. There's like a bunch of mini games you can go to and everything. But the problem is that they're too slow. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, you guys get the gist on that one. Let's move on. Uh, game three. Okay. If you know me, you know what game this is. The Windy City is back. I think I can give Ariel credit for that one. Michael Jordan Chaos in the Windy City is back. It is a Super Nintendo game, that's correct. Hang on. One second. My SNES cables are really bad, so... Um, yeah, this was in Super 16 number 6. I lost about two minutes. And you're probably thinking, it's two minutes, what's wrong with two minutes? What if I told you I used to have the record in this game? What if I told you... That Ariel, who helped put the Super 16 together, put this game in the Super 16 because of my influence? And then I butchered the game on race day. So yeah, it's back. I am going to show you what we're going to do in order to get revenge in this game. What I should have done in the race itself. Hi Twitcher, how's it going? Alright. So, what we're gonna do this time... Well first off, I am gonna get the checkpoint. I can't remember if I got the checkpoint in my race or not. Oh my gosh, did you see that? I got the key. Ah, come on. I want that. Key get. Yes. We're getting the key. That is how you were supposed to do that. And I didn't do it because I was trying to go for record strats. But anyways, yeah. I was, there's only five levels in that Michael Jordan goal, but uh, I just finished two of them. So that's going to be a short one, but still, we need revenge. So, all right, let's move on to the next game. If I can get it. Um, we're having problems. Hang on a minute. Is it 
I'm not sure. I don't know if it's just dust or what. Game Boy! Uh... Okay. I'm trying to get it loading. Okay. It's booting up. Who knows this? <laughs> yes, it is. Mulan! Good question, Aaron. I have no idea. So, yeah, Mulan was the first game from Tiny Ten, number 10. Believe it or not, I actually kind of like this game, as terrible as it is. But I died twice. So I am going to allow myself to use passwords in case I do game over again. But the main thing is I need to learn safer strats. Like waiting there. <laughs> and yeah, I- so yeah, I died twice during the Tiny Ten during this game. It only makes sense that I try this one again. Try to not have a terrible run this time. I gotta remember how to do this, okay. Yeah, this game... Casually, this is an absolutely terrible game. I don't recommend this, but the speedrun, I actually enjoy more than I thought I ever would. I'm gonna see if I can try- Aw, oh, man. I'm gonna see how far I get. When I was testing this earlier, I had to remember what the controls were, because, yeah, this game- This game's controls are absolutely terrible. But again, weirdly enough, I do kind of like this game. Oh no! I gotta remember how to do that part too. Like, where am I supposed to jump and everything? It's gonna be fun to go back to this one though. Again, weirdly, I actually have the cart of this game, by the way. Yes, I spent money on a cartridge for this game. It does have charm, yeah. Like I said, I... surprisingly, I like this game. Like, as, again, it's a terrible casual game, absolutely horrible. But... Yeah, so, about the music. This is a Super Game Boy enhanced game. So the reason the music is good is because of the Super Game Boy enhancement. Um, normally, the uh, music doesn't sound very good if you're playing on a regular Game Boy. But because of Super Game Boy, it sounds a lot better. Alright, I think I'm at the end where... Okay, we do this, and I think we climb to the top, and that should be... Yeah. So yeah, it only made sense to put this in. Just because... One, I like the speedrun, but two, I, I blew this game on race day. I don't know if I was... I don't think it was nerves or anything. I was... I think I... <laughs> just didn't play well. Um, anyways, Mulan is back. Uh, beat the game, any percent. Just like it was. All of these goals are the exact same from, uh, the, uh, yeah, JSPFPW. That is the password in case you game over. That is the password. Alright, next game. This next game has been in and out of this list like a hundred times and I finally just said screw it let's put it in because I had nine games and I decided fine we'll make it ten Ariel should know this
I love you too. I don't know what that has to do with this game, but... <laughs> I'll, I'll count that. I'll count that. Gargoyle's Quest. But this is not the whole game. This is Beat King's Palace. So... For, this game was in Tiny Ten number 5, and then this reappeared in Tiny Ten Remix 2. Now, in Tiny Ten Remix 2, the goal was to beat the whole game. Which, I got a 35 minute time on race day for the full game, which is pretty okay. But, when this game was in Tiny Ten number 5, beating just King's Palace took me 36 minutes. When, really, it should take you about 15. So, you could make the argument that it's like, oh, but you already got revenge on this game because you learned it for Tiny Ten Remix 2. And I considered that. There are a few games that didn't make my list because of that logic. But, to be fair, in Tiny Ten 5, I really should have known better. So, I said, why not? Let's, let's put it in. Why not? Let's, 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 let's do just King's Palace. Not the whole game or anything. <laughs> it's my life, whatever I want to do. Speaking of life, I just lost one. Um, this game is fantastic. This, this game is great. I am going to use the Japanese version when I actually do the full thing. You suck. All right, I hate you now. I was just kidding when I said I love you too. I actually hate you. Um, because the Japanese version has faster text boxes. But, uh, yeah. We're not, again, not the whole game, just a King's Palace. A game, uh, a goal I really should have been better at, at the time. I just wasn't. Um, but yeah, I will say there's, well, no, I, I don't want to spoil what game isn't in, because in case it's on your minds, but there was one game where, um, I did horribly in it the first time it was in a race, but then when it reappeared, I did way better. I actually decided to take it out of this list for that reason, but I left this one. So, yeah. Also, if there's a game that I just simply didn't want to play, I cut it from the list. It is not Castlevania 2, I will say that much. It's not that. I like that game, it's not that. Um, to be fair, I've always sucked at Castlevania, so... <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can try to beat the first... Oh no, I think we're gonna die. I'll see if I can beat the first boss. If not, it's okay, because we'll move on after anyways. Oh crap. I forgot the strat! <laughs> no! Alright, whatever. Game over! Alright, yeah, that's the goal, is to game over as fast as you can. Alright. Uh, okay, sorry, I'm doing stuff. Alright. Next game. Five more games. It's loading. This did go wrong on race day. Want to tell everybody what it is? Yes, it is. California Raisins. <clears throat> this is an unreleased NES game. It's not a bootleg, it's an unreleased game for the NES. <laughs> um, Ariel said that he was like, this went wrong on race day? My PB in this game at the time was just over five minutes. This game took me 10 minutes on race day. I could have beaten this game twice 
than the amount of time that it I beat it on race day. We're putting it in. <laughs> we're, we're doing raisins. Which is hilarious because now I have third place in this game. For some reason. I don't know why. Don't ask. So yes. We get to play California Raisins in 2024. I don't know why I like this game. I just do. But yeah, this was in Big 20, number 8. And, uh... I was terrible at this game on race day. But now I have third place in this for some reason. So, to show you guys how much I've improved or not... I'm going to do this game for my little project. Why do I have third place in th <laughs> this game? I don't know why this game clicks with me. It just does. Like, it's always weird games that click with me. <laughs> it's always weird, broken messes that resonate with me. Also, shoutouts to Ariel for, uh, doing the commentary for Retrothon 2021 for me for this game. Back when my stage fright was getting to me, he jumped in and did commentary. And he did a pretty alright job for Raisins, but he also did commentary for Out Trigger for Dreamcast for me. Commentary. And, uh, yeah, his Out Trigger commentary was stellar. His comments such as, I don't know what he's doing, I'm just, eh, yeah, whatever. And also, he said, um, so yeah, clearly I'm the most qualified to commentate this. But Raisins, he actually did a pretty alright job. Like, all kidding aside, Ariel did a pretty good job on commentary for Raisins. So, yeah. I'm gonna see if I can get through the bridge optimally. If I can't do it, it's okay. I'm gonna see if I can do the triple jump at the end of this bridge. If not, whatever. I actually would never go for this in a race. Ah, just barely missed it. Okay. Anyways, California Raisins. Moving on to game seven. I think you guys are going to know what this one is. <clears throat> I think you'll know. It is a Capcom game. <laughs> Raven got it. I think I, I we all know, come on. Mega Man 6. Robot Masters. I butchered this game during Big 20 number 9. That was the list that had Battle Kid, the blind game. But Battle Kid wasn't even my worst game. It was this. What happened was, I game over twice on Flame Man stage due to dropped inputs. And then there were some other deaths too, but yeah. That was the, those, that was the main issue. And yeah, it's just beat the Robot Masters. Um, nothing crazy, we're not changing the goal or anything. <laughs> Yeah, do, trying to do uh, power armor only would be interesting for sure. But also, I learned this full game last year. Uh, it was part of my little thing where I was running half of the license live, and I just died. Okay, it was part of the thing where I was learning how to do half the license NES library. Uh, not that I was learning games specifically for that, but like I had already learned the Robot Masters, so I did learn the whole game. But Come on, we've got to... <laughs> we, 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 we have, we had to include this. Ariel just said this was the first game he thought of when I mentioned this project. Yeah, come on. Also, I just want to point something out real quick. So, there's someone by the name of Infinite Mystery, who always does big 20s and mega 16s and stuff completely blind. If he knew the game beforehand, 
Okay, we really are gonna practice this level. To be fair, after this level, the game starts to get a lot easier, but you have to get through this. Like, you have to get through this first. Um, but anyways, about Infinite Mystery. He spent less time in this game on Big 20 Number 9 Race Day than I did. It took him 30 minutes. It took me 36. Not to dog on IM or anything. He's he's a great guy, and he's better at games than he gives himself credit for. Except maybe Qbert. I don't know. But, uh, did you even practice? No. I, that's the point, Ariel. I'm gonna practice now that I am revealing this list. Gosh. Okay, we finally cleared that section. I'm gonna see how far I go until I die again. Did I practice? Oh, did I practice during the race? I don't, you know, I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember what my time was for practice during the Big 20. I think it was like 24 minutes or something? Yeah, what's up, JKL? Two of your favorite Mega 16 games. Yep, we got three more games to reveal. I'm gonna see how far I can go in this, and then we'll move on. <clears throat> By the way, I need to make a document showing, or like, with all the games posted, that way people can just refer to it. I forgot to make it, because I've been busy with work lately. Oh my god. Alright. We got three bars of health. I think we can do it. And then I'll I'll move on. <laughs> I don't want to take up too much more time doing this, so. I got I got three bars of health. Wishes. Ooh, that was close. Look at me go. <clears throat> you guys were doubting me, weren't you? All right, moving on. Okay, game number eight. All right, I had to, I had to look to remember what it was, but yeah. All right. I feel like y'all gotta know this one. There you go. Uh, I'll give it to you, but we're actually gonna do regular Mega Man 2. But with a twist. We're not playing the Robot Masters. Uh... I think this is the password? I gotta remember. Um... Hang on, I have a picture of it. Uh... What the hell is it? Oh, there it is. I see it. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> so, this was the goal to, uh, for Big 20 number 15, the last Big 20 I ever did, this was the final game I've ever done for a Big 20, and Wily 4 got me. So we're going back for revenge. I was, I think, four minutes ahead of my full run PB. I think I was four minutes ahead. I finished four minutes behind after this game. And Big 2015 was an okay list. It was okay. 
But yeah, I, I, this game just whooped me. And because I have an EverDrive, I can actually make better save states compared to what I had to do on Power Pack. So hopefully that makes practicing this game easier. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Yep, Wily 4 destroyed my Big 20 career. It was also Dragon Warrior Rando. And then, what? Oh, wait, yeah, they did a uh, Friday the 13th ROM hack this time. And uh, ROM hack for Dragon Warrior 4 instead of just doing Chapter 1 or whatever they thought about doing. I don't know, I don't, I don't... Is it... <laughs> I'm not saying it's a problem if you do, if you like DWR, it's just... The original game was never in and they decided to use a modified version, which I don't really care for. Save that for the people's choice when I'm not participating. Oh, he sent you the C to, th to see if it was a good one. Okay, interesting. Uh, there it is. I'm gonna see if I can kill this first boss, and then I got two more games to reveal. I have not done this boss fight in a year and a half. Epilepsy warning. Got it! You're gonna have to remember a lot of menus, that's fine. <laughs> that's fair enough, Aaron. Alright. Alright, y'all- y'all know that one. Wily stages only, but mainly Wily 4 is the one I'm worried about. Okay, I got two more games to reveal. I am curious if you guys are even going to know these two. Alright, number nine. Yep, Ariel got it. Ariel got it. This is Conquest of the Crystal Palace from Big 20 number 11. This is a good game, but it's also freaking hard. But to be honest, I've wanted to relearn this game and improve my time for a while. So what better time than do it now? So Big 20 number 11, of all the Big 20s I've done, 11 is actually my least favorite. Not my least favorite ever, but of the ones I've done. Ugh. However, even though this game is very good, it's very hard, and there were so many hard games in Big 20 number 11. There, there you go. See, I told you this game is hard. <laughs> I never did that race because no evidence exists. To be fair, yeah, I didn't, I didn't highlight my Big 20 11 race run. For two reasons. One, because I was having internet issues, and so I would have had to cut up multiple bits. But also, uh, I finished half an hour behind my uh, full run PB. <laughs> and this was part of the problem. My PB is just over 18 minutes in this game. On race day, I was on this game for 32 minutes. Because I game overed twice on stage 5. I game over twice, and when you game over, you're back at the very, very, very start of the stage. By the way, I have a cartridge of this game now. I, d I used to not have one, but I do have one now, so I can use my cartridge when I do runs. Yay. But yes, this game, it's very good, but holy hell, this game is hard. <laughs> it's, this game is really hard. But that's fine, we're gonna practice. I got my EverDrive now, it's gonna be way easier to practice this game. <laughs> but yeah, you can do this attack where it's like, if you time it right, you can turn around and do a backslash, and that backslash actually- Okay, well there we go. That, um, <clears throat> that backslash actually, uh, is double attack power. 
So if there's a boss, I need to get in front of him, turn around quickly, and do the dash, or the dash, the uh, back attack. So, before I go to the last game, I just want to say something real quick. The last game I'm going to show... I game over. The last game I'm going to show... In fact, I'll just go ahead and start heading over. The last game I'm going to show is the worst performance I've ever had in a single game in any race. Now, I'm not saying that it's the worst one because I didn't do any practice. Because there has been a game where I went into it completely blind and it took me an hour. And I, uh, to be fair, it's not fair to judge that because I literally did no practice. And then eventually I did, my, did actual runs and I have a fine time. But this game, I should have known way better than I did. And I think... This has the record, because this last game, I lost 16 minutes compared to my best. <sighs> Let's boot it up. You got it. The last game will be what was my worst game. It's Cocorone. This is the worst performance I've ever had. My PB in this game is a, yes, epilepsy warning. My PB is a mid 17 on race day. I had, I think, a high 33 minute time in this game. I was that bad at this game on race day. <laughs> uh, I need to find, where's, yeah, there's the skull, there's that. I think this is, the, I think it's the third weapon you want. I'll name myself that. Yeah, that's fine. Yes. So, Kokoron is a game where you create your own characters, you go through the levels, you fight bosses, you kill enemies, and you get your mash on. <clears throat> and yes, just like Ariel said, the last stage of this game is absolutely absurd. That is part of the reason I lost so much time, but at the same time, Nothing in this game went correct on race day for Big 20 number 11. No nothing went right. So, this is our chance for revenge. So yeah, that's the list. I will say, I did consider putting the Mega Man games last. But, I thought it was more fitting to put the worst performing game last. I, I just thought it was, like, General Chaos is the second worst performance I've had, and that's first. It kind of felt, I don't know, it, it seemed right to kind of, the front of it having one of my worst, the end having one of my worst. It just, it just seemed right to do. So, <clears throat> anyways, um, I have no idea. Am I supposed to make another character? But anyways, yep, that is, uh, that is the list. General Chaos, Dragon's Fury, Michael Jordan, Mulan, Gargoyle's Quest, uh, California Raisins, Mega Man 6, Mega Man 2, Conquest of the Crystal Palace, and Kokoro. So, now I can tell you a few games that didn't make it, but were considered. Uh, Metal Storm almost made it. Metal Storm almost made it. The goal was the exact same from Big 20 number 10 and Nescathlon 2022. So I decided not to include it. Um, 
I was supposed to make the smiley face guy. Yeah, I, I don't remember the route in this game at all. I only know you're supposed to make this character. I don't know who you're supposed to make after. Um, but yeah, um, I'm trying to think what else. I mean, there were, I mean, the RNG games weren't really considered, but I at least kept them as backups just in case. Like, Goonies 2 was considered, but that was really just RNG. Fatal Labyrinth was never happening because that game sucks. Same goes for Renegade. Mars Mission was never happening. Basically, the games that I just straight up didn't want to play, or that were just bad games, I left out. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit there and play those types of games. Yeah. I, I had to grind for a key. That was the only reason I lost time, is because I could not get a key, and I had to grind it. Unless there's been recent developments that show it's not RNG, but even then, the list has been made, so... Yeah, yeah. I forget how to do this fight. <laughs> Um, but anyways, yeah, this is what I'm going to be working on for a month, maybe, maybe a little bit longer, I'm not sure. Um, I don't think I'm going to be playing stuff like California Raisins or Michael Jordan that long, just because those are easy. And then, like, stuff like Mega Man 2, I'll probably only practice that one stage. I also want to stress something real quick, just in case this is on your mind. The goal of this... Uh, challenge is not to play perfectly all in a row. It's just to play better than what I did. That's the goal. So, like, I don't need to get a PB in Kokorone while I'm doing the full 10 games back to back. I just need to not spend 33 minutes in this game. Does that make sense? Like, I can have deaths still, I can have mistakes, I can even go slow in a couple games. I just don't want to completely butcher it. Does that make sense? Because, like, these games I butchered on race day. So I just, I don't want to butcher any of these ten. I want to get a run of all ten in a row, nothing goes catastrophic, and then I'll say I got revenge. That's, that's, that's the idea. Um, I know none of you asked, but that's, yeah. <laughs> Uh, where's- what body am I supposed to use? I forget. Dude, I don't remember this game at all. Alright, fine, I'll use that one. I don't- Yeah, I- I don't remember this game at all. This game is very fun, but I literally do not remember this at all. <laughs> um, but anyways, that's the list. So, I'll probably play a couple of the easier games tonight, just to de-rust. And then, uh, I'll probably cut stream. I'm not gonna stream that long tonight. But anyways, that's that. I need water, because my throat hurts. I should probably screenshot the list, at least. Hang on. There we go. Save. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Let me switch on over. What's up? <clears throat> okay, my mom needs me for just a second, so I am going to turn on California Raisins. You guys can enjoy the music, and then I'll do one or two runs of this game. It's not going to take that long, I don't think. But anyways, I should probably turn my mic off just in case.
Yeah, sounds good, Ariel. Um, gargoyles, I might need to refer to either my PB or yours, but, uh... Mega Man 2, I th I'm not gonna go for any zips in Mega Man 2 still. Eventually, I'd like to learn zips in that game. <clears throat> Since I have an EverDrive, it'll make it a lot easier to do it. Um, but anyways, uh, let me get my splits open. I thought about making my own time tracker, but I was like, nah. What? Live split, don't crash on me. <coughs> it's fine, I don't necessarily need to track time or anything. I don't want to update that right now. Um... Okay, I will make a command and I'll put it in the paste bin and like I'll make I'll either make a paste bin or a Google Doc. I'll post all the information there in case somebody missed the list. Um, we'll figure that out then. But anyways, uh, let's play some raisins <clears throat> again. <laughs> um, anyways, we'll probably play this and then Michael Jordan, um, and then I'll think about it after what we'll do. But anyways. Um, But yeah, we'll just we'll just chill for about an hour. I'm not gonna stream for that long tonight because I've I've got a, I got something else I gotta take care of. Um, all right, let's see if I remember this game. To be fair, it's been a year since I've played this. I think so. But yeah, big twenty number eight. I spent ten minutes in this game when it should have taken me five. But yeah, the only other gaming I'm doing besides these 10 games, I've been playing Persona 3 Reload like crazy. I've already put 24 hours into Persona 3 Reload. And I'm only like a fourth of the way through the game. <laughs> In fact, let's take the safe route. Who knows, maybe I'll do that for the the full run. I'm definitely gonna do this for the full run. I'm not gonna go for a fast strat. I never did ask. For those who are still here. What did what do you think of my ten games? I know some of you guys already had some opinions, but like... What do you think about the 10 choices I made? I know some people got excited for a few games, but like... Overall... Anybody have any thoughts on my full list? They're awful! <laughs> Hi, Arcadia. Unfortunately, you missed it, but that's okay. I can... You know what? I need... I should probably post a screenshot in Discord. I should probably post a screenshot in Discord uh, showing what the list is in case anybody missed it. This is in the list. This is in. Oh, by the way, when they did voting for Big 20 number 17, aka my least favorite Big 20, I actually voted for this. <laughs> I voted for Raisins. I think I was the only one who did it. I don't think anybody else did it. Excited for the games? Nice. I'm curious, Armstrong. You mentioned earlier that there was a game you were hoping to see. I'm, what what game was it? Especially knows the ones you don't know of. What, what game was it that you were hoping you'd see? Because I'm curious... If it was... Ah, oh, hang on. Where's 
Raisins is such a fun game. This game should not be fun, but it's fun. You guys want to see a skip? There's a skip. That was found during Big 20 practice. Somebody messed up, and they fell down there, and they realized it was a skip, and they told everybody else. I don't remember who it was. I want to say it was Tool 23, but I could be wrong. <clears throat> In any case, yeah, that was that skip was found on accident. Oh, Shrek. That has never been in a multi-game race. Not even a GBA sprint or anything. But it should be. Who knows, maybe I'll create the maybe I'll create the advanced 15 and I'll put Shrek 2 in there. <laughs> Or maybe RGL will put it in the next GBA sprint, and then Ariel's gonna be like, Oh, I'm definitely in now because of Shrek 2 GBA. <clears throat> uh, RGL does an event called the GBA sprint. Nah, I was just kidding. I, I don't know if Ariel would ever play Shrek 2 GBA. Wait, Ariel, I, if you're still here, would you ever play Shrek 2 GBA? I'm g genuine question. I'm not trying to make a meme out of this. Would you ever play it? I don't know if he's still here if he went to bed. I don't know. But... That was a good fight, actually. Sloppy stage, but that was a good fight. Dude, I can still get a sub-5. Let's go. <coughs> if I get a sub-5, I'll just move on to Michael Jordan. Oh, whoops. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. That does that doesn't really matter if you just take if you just get face checked there. Done. 456. Alright. Good D Rust. That was a good D Rust. If I got that during my full run, I'd be happy. If I had that in Big 20 number 8, I would have been thrilled. Yeah, Shrek 2 GBA is a much better game than it needs to be. All right, if if any of you missed the list reveal, I'm gonna, I'm about to post it in my Discord in the general channel. If any of you missed it, it's in my Discord on the general channel. In case you missed what games it is. Thanks for the GGs, Arcadia and Armstrong. <clears throat> All right. Let's switch gears here. Also, I think what I'll do, I'll highlight the reveal. I'll highlight the reveal part of the stream in case you want to see the reveal happen in real time and see chat. I'll highlight that too. <clears throat> All right. Michael Jordan sells. Just sells. Let's see how much of this game I remember. This one and Raisins, I think, are the easiest games I have in my list. It's showtime. Arguably, Dragon's Fury slash Devil's Crush will be easy as well. Arguably. It kind of depends. But, like, Conquest of the Crystal Palace and Kokoro are going to be hard, because i got to de-rust those. General Chaos, same thing. i got to relearn that game. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. I just want all of you guys to know, uh, La Hulk and Zocker Stu are two very prominent Super 16 runners. They're very good at Super Nintendo games just in general. Both of them said that Michael Jordan, Chaos in the Windy City, was the worst game in Super 16 number 6. <laughs> so, yeah. That's okay, though. It doesn't change my feelings on the game. I had this game as a kid and I was terrible at it and I really wanted to 
learn it as a speedrun. And I eventually got world record in it, even though nowadays the record I had at the time would be absolutely terrible. But that's the beauty of speedrunning. Then Bert Sasquatch saw me play, he's like, this game looks fun, and then he completely destroyed this game. Broke it open. Floor clips and ceiling clips and all this stuff. Bert Sasquatch found so much speed tech in this game. There was only a couple little things, but yeah, this, this game casually is a mess. Casually, this game is a mess. And the controls are kind of clunky. Like, I am literally holding L on the controller the entire time. Also, I am doing old strats. I just did old strats right there. That's fine. It is safe, question mark. Um. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay. But this game's speedrun is amazing. This game actually has been in a GDQ. This game was in, I think, a GDQ 2021? Apathy Duck did it. Had a pretty good run. At least, I think. <laughs> I forgot, you need these purple uh, bouncy balls. I'm amazed how much of this I even remember. I haven't played this in about two years. At least seriously, I haven't played this in about two years. But like, this is throw canceling. I didn't even throw the ball, but I was still able to hit the enemies because the hitbox stays with you. If you try to throw a ball and then jump immediately after with the baseball, well, baseball, it works the best. Uh, the hitbox stays with you. But for some balls, like the fireballs, it only does one hit. The hitbox stays with you, but it only does one hit. But with the baseball, it's like a boomerang, so it just keeps hitting. Floor clipping is a thing that... I don't even know how Bert figured that one out. I should probably ask him, like... Like, how did he even figure out some of this stuff? <clears throat> there is a health pickup upgrade, but for just the cells goal, we don't need it. I probably should have gotten the checkpoint. Oh well. Whew, nice save. I can still get a sub-5 on this goal. But yeah, this was, this was a short goal in Super 16, but this was also a lot of people's least favorite. A couple people said that they actually kind of liked this game, which made me happy. Okay, I kind of messed up, so... That's fine, that's fine. <clears throat> Sub 5 on the goal after a D-Rust, I will take that. And the goal ends as soon as the screen is black. 446, alright. Not bad. That's what I should have done on Super 16 race day. Instead I got a low 6 minute time. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I have not played the rest of this game in three years. If I do come back to this game, I would actually start with all captives, which is sort of like 100%. I would do all captives, and then I would think about uh, doing any percent again. <clears throat> I got other stuff I'd rather play, though. Like, I love this game. This game is horrible casually. Great speedrun. Horrible, horrible casual game. Don't play this casual game. Like, that's my recommendation. Um, okay. How about we play... Let's do... I tell you what, I'm gonna put in Mega Man 2, and I'm gonna make some save states. And then... We'll try a full run of the goal. I think that sounds fair enough. And yes, I do have the big 2018 ROMs on my 
on my EverDrive. I will not be doing this event. However, there is a few games I do want to learn. Life Force, I want to learn. Pizza Pop, I think I'll learn. These two I've already learned. Pizza Pop, I might learn. Battletoads and Double Dragon, yes. Millipede, I've already done. Bobble, I've done. Cowboy Kid actually looks like a lot of fun. Rampart, probably not going to happen. Mega Man 4, I've already done. Mega Man 4 finally got in a big 20. I will say that. They finally put Mega Man 4 in. <clears throat> Faxanadu, I might learn the actual game instead of this password goal. Daydream and Davey looks terrible. It might be fun. Niketsu Street Basket. Uh, Ganbare Dunk Heroes. The last game anybody would ever think would get in one of these events. But I, I might learn this, at least just to get a time. Young Indiana Jones Chronicles. Honestly, I think I'll suck it up and I'll learn this eventually. Same with Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park looks fun. I had the Game Boy version as a kid. I was bad at it, but I might I might learn the NES version of this. Adventures of Lolo 3, same deal. I'll learn it. Battle Kid, nope. RC Pro M2, I'll learn. Dragon Warrior 4, it's too long. I wish I could do it, it's too long. I'm not playing this ROM hack. Friday the 13th, same deal. I'm not playing this ROM hack. So, okay. Uh, anyways, that's my little review of uh, Big 20 number 18. Uh, Mega Man 2. <clears throat> I'm going to go through and make save states first, and then we will, uh, uh, wait, I can, okay, we're, we're good. I was making sure my save states were on. But yeah, Gargoyles Quest Game Boy, I went back and forth a hundred times if I was even going to put that in this little event. <clears throat> Gargoyles Quest was the last game I put in. Dragon's Fury was second to last. The other eight were pretty high on the priority list. Anyways, let's go through and make some save states, see what I remember. And like I said, before next stream, I will make a document with all of the games and stuff and all the goals, uh, just in case anybody wants to look at it. And like, I'll put some information about like, <clears throat> about like, you know, why I am doing this challenge and all that. Basically, the only reason I'm doing this challenge is for revenge. <laughs> that's 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 all it is. It's so much easier to make save states on the EverDrive. Holy moly. Also, fun fact, this has nothing to do with this, but Pizza Pop, which is a Famicom game that is in this new Big 20, does not work on Power Pack. You have to play Pizza Pop on an EverDrive, or have the cart, or play on emulator. But since I have an EverDrive, I actually can learn Pizza Pop. So, Pizza Pop... I, I will learn someday. It looks fun. It actually does look fun. I will say that. <clears throat> I know it's a Famicom game, but Famicom games I like. Or at least I like some of them. <laughs> also, this password that they gave out actually gives you two E-Tanks, which helps. I'm, I will say, the one game I did not think would be in Big 20 number 18, if I have to pick the biggest surprise, it's Tecmo Super Bowl. I'm amazed that a football game, American football game, I'm surprised it made it into a Big 20. I'm kind of happy about it, but a lot of Big 20 players are not American, so yeah. They have to learn what American football is. <laughs> to be fair, I don't know what cricket is. I don't understand the rules of cricket. I've tried learning international cricket um, for my licensed NES challenge back when I did that. I could still learn it someday, but I have no idea 
what to do in cricket, so until that day happens, I am kind of stuck on that one. <laughs> Anyways, I know I'm kind of just talking about nothing right now, but whatevs. I think we hold right here. Yep. Did Base Wars ever make it in? Base Wars has never been in a Big 20. Um, but I will say, the creator, or I guess like the current head of Big 20, if you will, Overswarm, even though I do not agree with a lot of his decisions about what gets in Big 20, he does like Base Wars. So, never say never. <clears throat> to be fair, a lot of sports games just don't get in these... In, they just don't get in Big 20 because of... Um, they're just sports games. Like, people don't really like to play sports games. I like to play some sports games. Trying to speedrun them is hard, for sure, but... Like, I... I enjoy a good sports game every once in a while. Like, sports games today are absolutely god-awful, but back then they had more charm. Alright, easy enough. <coughs> it will be weird going from Mega Man 6 to Mega Man 2 when I do the full run of all ten of these games. It will be weird to do that, I will say that. I do remember in Big 2015, I had a death on this level, but it was pretty minor, so I wasn't too concerned, but like, still, that was kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Wily 4 was the main issue, though. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. That's fair enough. I died on the spikes, by the way, in case you're curious how I died in this level. It was on the spikes. <laughs> That's how they get you. That is how they get you. They're... Oh, I loaded it. That's fine, that's fine. We're just practicing. <clears throat> so this game will definitely be in Big 20 number 19, because everybody's gonna do a vote. We're gonna, they're gonna do a voting again. And everyone's just gonna vote for this again. So, yeah. That's a shame. <clears throat> when they do new games, they do silly goals that don't make any sense. When they do voting in games, people just vote in the same stuff every time. It's just, yeah. It's a shame. I used to be Big 20's biggest fan, and. <laughs> Oh well. I could either complain about it the rest of my life, or I can do my own projects. Okay, let's move on to Wily 4. This level got me on race day. <clears throat> this is the problem. This is why we're- this level is why we're here. I don't remember... Hang on. I don't remember where this... Uh, like, where the fake floors are. One there. One there. So... Okay. That's how you tell, in case you don't know. Put the bubble out, and then... Yeah. 
<laughs> Same goes for this part. Okay, it's on the third one. Okay. Oh, I see. Uh Actually, let's see if I let's see if I got that. Got it. All right. <clears throat> You could use item one and go up that way, but I'm gonna save my item ones for the boss fight. <clears throat> I have learned my lesson. Save your item ones. Also, don't get hit like a moron. <laughs> I forgot, you can do this. This is a totally viable strat. You can do it. And then what you can do is damage boost, and you're good to go. And then there's a little strat here, where you keep opening the menu, and you can make it there, <clears throat> and boom. Easiest way to deal with that. I'm gonna do something a little unorthodox here. I'm going to, all right. I'm gonna do that. Worst boss in NES history, possibly. And I choked this hard on race day. To be fair, this boss sucks in general, but like, I, I could have done better. This is the safest way to do it. What I'm showing everybody right now, this is the easiest way to do this fight. Oops. It's that simple. That is the easiest way to do that fight. <clears throat> Use an E-Tank right before the fight, do what I just did. That is the easiest way to do it. There's... There, it's... yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's just it. Good job, thank you! Alright, I don't remember the order of refights. Is it wood? 
Yes. No one else is weak to wood, right? <laughs> I hope not. I know you can use fire. I prefer air here. Personally, I prefer the air. <coughs> this one's metal. By the way, Mega Man 3 is the best classic Mega Man. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Uh, quick is crash, but we don't have it. Yeah, I think this is the only one where we actually fight him normally because we don't have the thing that he's weak to. But luckily, he's not that much of an issue. Actually, I think you can use, hang on. Can't you use quick on quick? Nope. <laughs> I was just kidding. I was I was just pulling a little joke there. I was I was just seeing if y'all were paying attention. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time somebody tried to cancel me. <laughs> Alright, there he was, there he goes. <clears throat> yeah, if you use metal on metal, it takes one hit. To take him out. Oh crap. Okay. <coughs> Final boss. I'll make a save here and I'll make a save right before the fight. Bubble doesn't get a whole lot of use in the game, but you can use it here. In fact, I'm just gonna cover the save right there. time. It's okay if you take a hit by his bullets, but not on the body like I just did there. Okay. Uh, I think what we'll do... Well, actually, I need to get my cartridges of the games that we're doing in this challenge. I need to go get... I need to get these. Um, I have my Mulan cart there. Let's try this all in one and see if I retained any of that knowledge. 
So, timing actually starts when you finish putting in the password on this one. It was when you... They, the password, once you put it in, that's where it starts. Right there is where it starts. <clears throat> and I will do the same thing for the full run. I think what I'll do... I might try a run of this, and then I might fire up Dragon's Fury just for a little bit, just to see if I remember anything from it. <clears throat> or I'll just kind of screw around with the game. And then, uh, I will probably call it, because I got, I got something I gotta take care of tonight. It's not gonna take that long, but I gotta do it. Um, and then I got work tomorrow. Um, I think... So, I think the next stream will be Friday night, because tomorrow I think I'm going to play Persona. <laughs> Thursday I'm busy. Uh, I'm going to my dad's that night. Um, <clears throat> but uh, tomorrow I might make a Persona day, so. <laughs> I'm actually kind of glad I'm not doing Big 2018, because I have time to play Persona. I have time to play these games that I kind of want to play. Arcadia, I'm not going to talk about Reload in detail because you're playing it. But, uh... I have taken a few screenshots on my PS5. All of them have Yukari in them. Let's just say that. I've taken about three screenshots. And it's just Yukari stuff. Ariel, if you're here, I'm sorry. But yeah, I was saying earlier, I do want to learn the zips in this game. I've never learned zips, but I actually do kind of want to try a run of this with zips. Just to see if I can do them. I have an EverDrive, so I can. it would be easier to practice. Not that I couldn't learn it on Power Pack. I could. It would just take longer to learn it. <clears throat> Might as well take these... Yeah, Maru's mission was never happening. I know Ari- oh, he had to go do something. <laughs> yeah, I was talking about Yukari. Um, but, uh... <clears throat> no, I, I, Ariel, I was actually just about to tell you. Um, you were saying you thought- <laughs> that message is right. You were saying you thought the last game was gonna be Maru's mission. I hate Mario's mission. I would never willingly play that. So I would never get revenge on that. That game just sucks in general. There's no point in trying to get revenge in something that pointless. <laughs> that was the joke. Okay. I didn't realize you were kidding. Sorry, my bad. I didn't realize you were kidding. Uh, 
Uh, Ariel, I actually asked you a question earlier, because Armstrong and I were talking about something. Uh, Ariel, would you ever play Shrek 2 GBA? Uh, I'm genu- I'm being genuine. Like, I'm, I'm- I'm asking a serious question. Would you ever try Shrek 2 GBA? Just casually or anything? Would you ever play it? Doubt it, but never say never. That's fair enough. Because I, I made a joke earlier how- because Armstrong thought Shrek 2 GBA would be in my list, but it's never been in a multi-game race. But I made a joke like, oh, maybe RGL will put it in a GBA sprint or whatever. <laughs> or maybe uh, I'll make the advanced 15 and I'll put Shrek 2 in there. And then... Because uh, I remember you mentioned wanting to do a GBA sprint, and that kind of gave me the idea of like, oh, I wonder if... Maybe if Shrek 2 GBA gets in a GBA sprint and you really want to do it, you can play uh, Shrek 2 GBA and fall in love with it like I did when I was a kid. Okay, ser serious note though, serious note though. <clears throat> I've been back and forth on this idea. RGL is doing Retrothon again this year. <laughs> well, Game Boy Color has a ton of bad games. GBA actually has a lot of good stuff. We could actually do something with the GBA. We can't do anything with Game Boy Color. Let's just be... Let's just call it how it is, okay? <laughs> um, no, but anyways, I'm being serious on this one. RGL is doing Retrothon again this year. If GBA counts as Retro now, if it counts... And if a bunch of people start submitting GBA games, I might submit Shrek 2, because it's never been in a marathon. It has never been in a marathon. <clears throat> I will think about it. Okay. I will think about it. Otherwise, I have a few different... Uh, the retro threshold is 20 years ago. Shrek 2 GBA came out to that. Shrek 2 GBA came out in 2004. It just turned 20. <clears throat> well, would you look at that? I am guaranteed to save time over Big 2015 if I just take my time. I am guaranteed a time save if I just take my time. Because then I E-tank right before the boss fight, do the boss fight correctly, and that's it. Free time save. <coughs> I'm, I am, so like, the only bad games that happened in a couple of my races were due to RNG. Like, Fatal Labyrinth was just RNG, and that game sucks. I should learn the damage boosts. I know how to do some of the damage boosts. Some of them. But then there's others where I'm too chicken to do it. That's actually why I'm chickening out on some of them. <coughs> you inadvertently explained why I am chickening out on some of the damage boosts. At least just for this. But yeah, in the- in Big 2015, I died twice on Wily 4 and had to purposefully game over because I didn't have enough crash. The first time I died, it was my fault. 
Like, you go back and look at the video. The first time, it was my fault. I'll take the L on that one. The second time was total bullshit. <laughs> And by the way, nothing else works on the boss except for Crash. Nothing else works. If you don't have Crash, you cannot kill this boss. <clears throat> so if you use Crash and then die on this boss, you have to game over. You have to game over. Don't have a choice. You have to game over. <sighs> How hard this boss is on Buster only. How do you kill him on Buster only? I don't even think that- I think you still have to use Crash, right? You're allowed to use Crash because nothing else works. That's wild. But you cannot use items 1, 2, or 3. Oh, that is bullshit. I'm sorry, that is. So how do you, how do you, how do you get up and, how do you, how are you supposed to do that fight then? You open the wall in the middle, you have to use an explosion to break two walls at once. Twice. That is insane. That's also very stupid. <laughs> I think what I'll do, I'll finish this run, and then we're gonna boot up Dragon's Fury just for a little bit. Just to mess around with it, and then I'm gonna call stream. I'll call it a little bit early tonight. I will say, my throat is actually kinda starting to hurt a good chunk. Cause I talked a lot during, uh, <laughs> during the reveal. I kinda wrecked my throat a little bit. I'm, I'm surprised you finished a run in that category too. Wait, why were you- wait a minute. I think you've answered this before, but I forgot the answer. Why did you do Buster only Mega Man 2? Was that Ultimate Decathlon? That well, that can't be. Funzies? Ariel. Ariel. Jug Ariel. <sighs> Funnily enough, that sounds exactly like you. <laughs> that actually sounds a lot like you. <laughs> to be fair, I did Dragon's Lair NES, the shitty version, for funsies, and to get a time in that, so I really can't be talking. I've done my own stupid stuff, too. Now, to honor Big 2015's goal, I will call time once the screen transitions. Uh, the same goals and the same timings for every single game that were in the original race. GG. I sp 14.03. I split early, but yeah, 14.03. Okay. <clears throat> I think my big 20 time in this goal was uh, 22 minutes. <laughs> I do think some of these games will be easier just because there's no pressure. There's no pressure in a race or anything. I think that's why some of these games will be easier, but yeah. <clears throat> that was fun. Alright, I'm gonna fire up Dragon's Lair, or Dragon's, yeah, uh, yeah I'm gonna play Dragon's Lair on purpose. 
No, I'm gonna play Dragon's Fury. And then I'm gonna cut stream. Oh, come on. I am planning to go to the retro game store on Thursday. I might look at the Genesis section and see if they have... Uh, I don't know if Dragon's Fury is expensive, but I might look for General Chaos, because I know that's a fairly easy game to get, I think. Um, anyways, <clears throat> we're not going to play General... I need to relearn General Chaos. I need to, like, relearn it, because and... there's new strats in the game. Oh, that sucks. Oh, no. Guys, this controller wire is starting to tear. Oh, no. I might have to buy a new Genesis control. Wait, I have my three button one. But I like this one. <laughs> I like this one though. Damn. Whatever. It's it's probably fine right now. Worst case scenario, I'll grab some electrical tape and, and tape it around. Um I don't remember, I don't have a good way to, like, get the ball to do that. There we go. We have 1.4 million, but the goal is 10 million. Do you guys remember when I actually had world record in this game? Very briefly, like for a week, I had record in this game. Alright, we're almost at 3 million. Maybe I should have been timing this, but... To be fair, I don't think I'm gonna get a PV. I'm just I'm just screwing around. <coughs> there are multipliers in this. Maybe I'll take advantage of them if people have found a way to make it more to make it faster. We're at 4 million, 4.3 million. But I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure how to, like, I don't know how the multipliers work. And I, I don't, sorry, let me rephrase that. I don't remember how they work. We're at 5 million. <clears throat> That's gonna hit him. Yeah. Oh, we're doing this. It doesn't do that forever, just based on how the table works. But yeah. <laughs> it does get a little annoying. Yeah, the goal was 10 million points. I did not change any goals. What I'm doing is very slow, I will say that. But I'm not about to game over, which is the good thing. 
Yeah, you gotta shake the table to get the ball to move in this game. On NES Pinball, the black box one, all you have to do, is, the ball will just move on its own. <clears throat> the ball becomes sentient. Nah, oh, come on. So yeah, you get 800,000 points every time you go up there. Or if you have a multiplier, which I still don't know, I don't remember what to do there. You can get even more points than that. I will look up how to do it, and I'll try to remember how. Because I forget. And that's game. I got 10 million points. That is the goal for this, is to score 10 million points. There's no ending to this game. So, yeah. <coughs> I forgot. You have to search Devil's Crush for this. Because... On, on TurboGrafx-16, it's called Devil's Crush. On Genesis, they renamed it to Dragon's Fury for no reason. Anyways. Um, okay. Well, my throat hurts, and I need to do something for work, and I'm going to make a little document that has all this stuff, and I gotta make the Twitter announcement and everything of what the game list is. I think I'm going to end it here. I know I've only streamed for two hours, but that's okay. I think I'm going to end it here. Um, so, thanks for watching, y'all. I think I'll be back on Friday. I think Friday I'll be back to do some more practice. Probably more of this and maybe General Chaos. Um, or maybe the NES games. We'll see. I've got, I've got some options. So, all right. I'm going to get going. So, have a good night, y'all. Take care, and I'll catch you later. Good night.